A successful Amazon product is comprised of two main components, the value of the product itself, as well as an optimized listing. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily build an optimized keyword rich listing so that your listing will be indexed for all of your main keywords and show up in the search results. But first, my name is Crescent, and if this is our first time meeting, welcome to my channel. My passion is sharing tips and strategies on how you can create a successful Amazon FBA private label business. So if you enjoy videos like this, or especially if you've been around my channel, consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. So before we begin, I want to clarify a common area of confusion amongst beginners, and that's indexing versus ranking. There's a huge difference between the two, and you need to understand the differences so that you can plan your marketing strategies correctly. In short, Indexing refers to keyword indexing, whereas ranking refers to where in the search results your listing appears. The Amazon search algorithm does two things whenever a search is made on Amazon. First, it needs to figure out what listings to pull up in the search results, and then it needs to determine in what order to display the results. Which listings to pull up has to do with keyword indexing, and the algorithm determines this based on the keywords you've used in your listing and the backend keyword list. For example, if you do a search for can openers, the search algorithm isn't gonna pull up camping hammocks. Now, where your listing shows up in the search results, meaning the position in the search results that it appears, or your listings rank, is based primarily on the daily sales velocity. The listings that have more sales will show up higher or closer to the first page. So, optimizing your listing will have no effect to its ranking in the search results. If you want to know more about this topic, I have a video on this here. Now that we've covered this issue, you should understand now why it's important to have a keyword rich listing. You want your listing to show up for all of the relevant main keywords that describe your product. For example, if your product is a felt letter board, not only do you want your listing to show up when someone does a search for felt letter board, but also for sign board, or message board, or display board. In this way, you can capture as much traffic as possible, and in order to build a keyword optimized listing, you first need to put together a thorough keyword list. All right, so there's some tools you can use to help create your keyword list. There's some free ones, and there's some paid ones, which are much better, in my opinion, since they produce a much thorough and detailed keyword-rich list for you. Now, these Free ones are okay to use, and that's what we all used to use in the past, but the new ones now are just that much better and are just far superior than the results you'll get from these free tools, all right? So one of the free ones you can use is Keyword Tool Dominator, and the other one is KeywordTool.io. Now, both are the exact same thing. They'll produce a keyword list for you, but they both use Amazon's Search Autocomplete to generate their keyword list. For example, if you scroll down, you can see that it says here, Keyword Tool helps generate relevant long tail keywords using the Amazon Search Suggest function, uh, as well as Keyword Tool Dominator. If you scroll down here, it says it uses the Amazon's autocomplete service. All right, so if we do a search, for example, for can opener, it's gonna generate a list of relevant keywords for that niche and it gives you a rank for the keywords. One is obviously higher, right? Now you can notice here that all the keyword results have the seed keyword in it with just several words tacked onto the end or in the beginning, right? Now if we go to Amazon and we type in can opener, you'll notice that that list of results is pretty much exactly the same thing that you see here, okay? Now, once you do that, you can come down here and add it to your keyword list and then download the selected keywords into an Excel spreadsheet. And if you open it up in Excel, you'll see that list of keywords along with the rank. Now there's paid versions like Merchant Words, which is $30 a month, which will give you a more detailed and thorough keyword list, but the functionality that Merchant Words offers you is very limited for the price that you're paying. Now there's also Keyword Inspector, which is another tool that we all used to use in the past. And the advantage here is it gives you a reverse ASIN search. It shows you the keywords that your competitors are using in their listing. So if we use this option here, it's pay per use. And if you come down here um, and click on credits, you can see it's $29.95 for unlimited searches, or you can uh, 
buy a one-time package for uh, $20 for 25 credits. Each search will cost you a certain amount of credits. Okay, now the best tool and the tool that I strictly use now is a tool by Jungle Scout called Keyword Scout. And it's actually included with your web app subscription. So if you already have the web app, you already have access to Keyword Scout. And if we go to Jungle Scout and take a look, the web app is $39 a month and it includes the web app, Keyword Scout, and a whole list of other tools for you, such as the new supplier database, which allows you to find your competitor's suppliers, for example, all included in one package. Now, the Keyword Scout tool is far superior than all the free options that I've already shown you, since they supply a far more keyword-rich and thorough and detailed keyword list, which I'll show you here. All right, so if we go to Keyword Scout and do a search for can opener, You'll notice here it shows you all the volume, which if you want to get the search volume with the free tools, you still have to sign up and pay. Now this is included with Keyword Scout and you can see that it's not just the Amazon autocomplete. It's not just the seed keywords followed by some other words. It's far more thorough. Now once you have a thorough keyword list, you can move on to building your optimized Amazon listing for your product. Now if you want more information on how to find the best keywords to build your listing, and for your PPC campaigns, I have a video that goes into detail on this, which I'll leave a link to over here. Okay, so how do you build a keyword optimized listing? Well, when you create a listing, there's four areas that you need to be mindful of. There's the title, the bullet points, the description, and the backend keywords, which is also called the search terms. Now, for example, if we take a look at an existing can opener listing, you can see here that this is the title, this is the bullet point section and you can put up to five bullet points, one, two, three, four, five, and I recommend that you use all of them. And then if you scroll all the way down, you'll see the product description. The backend keywords is located in Seller Central. When you edit your listing, it's not public facing, meaning people looking at your listing can't actually see your backend keyword list. Now when we go to Seller Central, you're gonna to have to enter this information in order to create your listing. Now the first thing you're gonna see is under the Vital Info tab. And what you're gonna be concerned with is the product name. This is the title. So you wanna make sure you have a keyword optimized title here because according to Amazon's algorithm, the title is the most important for search indexing, okay? Followed by your backend keywords, then the bullet points and the description, which are about the same level of importance, okay? Now, when it comes to the title, the closer to the front of the title carries more weight. So again, the more relevant Keywords should be front loaded in your title. So if I'm doing a can opener, I wanna make sure I say can opener as close to the beginning of the title as possible. We can see that this is what the sellers are currently doing. So if you look at the top selling listing right here, Amazon's Choice, they're selling a stainless steel can opener and you can see in their title, the very first words is stainless steel can opener. And then you can see it says manual, food safe, good good grips with a built-in bottle opener. And if we go look at the keyword list that you built, you can see that those are the main most important keywords. These are all the top two or three keywords on this list. Can opener, manual, um, manual can opener, okay? So the more important the words are, you wanna make sure they're closer to the beginning and in the title. So again, if we click on this can opener, you'll see that the farther down the title it goes, the less relevant those keywords are, right? So stainless steel can opener, manual, food safe good, built-in bottle opener, silver, all right? They don't say silver stainless steel can opener because the word silver isn't as important as just stainless steel can opener. And again, if we take another example, we'll look at this one. Can opener manual, right? because can opener is the product and then manual is less important and than can opener. So they reverse the two with two spare blades. And as you can see, the farther down you go in the title, the less important those words are, but these are still the most important out of the entire list of keywords. All right. Now, if we look at the bullet points, you can see that they've tried to use as many of the relevant keywords as possible. And again, in this case, manual can opener, is the main keyword that they want to keyword optimize in their listing. So you can see it's repeated many times in here as well as in the description. So when you go to create your listing title, if you're having trouble 
A good way to start is to look at the top sellers and see what they're doing and you can copy what they've done and just tweak it a little bit to fit your own product listing and what features or bundle that you've added to yours so that it's relevant to your particular product. Okay, so for example, if I'm selling a can opener just like this one, I can just start with this as my title and paste it in here and I would customize it to fit mine. So for example, this T01, I don't know what it means, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And then uh, grips width, not sure what that means. Get rid of that. And then I'll look at my keyword list and I can come in here and see what the top keywords are that I can put into the title that makes it more relevant and index for. So if my can opener is a left-handed can opener, then obviously I wanna put left-handed in there. Um, maybe it's heavy duty. And I think that's more important than food safe. So I'll put heavy duty. And then maybe mine is a smooth edge type can opener, right? So I'll come over, over here and I'll do manual and that's probably more important than heavy duty. So I'll put smooth edge heavy duty, food safe, built-in bottom or silver. Okay, so that's how you build your title. You take the most important keywords and put them towards the front. Now, one thing you wanna keep in mind is that you wanna make sure the title is readable by a human. Although a computer is indexing your listing, the title shouldn't be a convoluted, keyword stuffed sentence that is difficult to read or understand by a person because a person is the one that's actually gonna to try to read this and comprehend what you're trying to sell. So keyword optimize it, but it must be easily readable and understandable by a human. So if it's difficult to read or comprehend, then you've probably gone too far with the keyword stuffing. So maybe tone it back a bit so it's a little more easy to read. Now, once your title is done, you can move on to the description tab. Now here's where we're gonna enter the information pertaining to the product itself. So the key product features is the five bullet points that you can add at the top of your listing. Now, you can see there's one here, and I'll recommend that you use all five, and you can add more by clicking the Add More button. Four or five of them, okay? Now, the product description is where you can add more information pertaining to your product, such as any warranties, what the product is made of, any technologies you've incorporated into your product, the size and weight, and anything else you want to describe to a person visiting your listing. Now, a pro tip in creating your bullet points is you want to keep in mind people buy products based on two fundamental emotions, either to reduce pain or increase pleasure. Or in other words, how is this product going to resolve a pain point or a problem for a person visiting your listing? You want to pick your top five of them and use those for your bullet points. Now, again, if we take a look at the top selling can opener, you can see that's exactly what they did. They took the top five key selling features of their product and identified them in the bullet points and why their product solves that problem or resolves those issues, okay? So it's made of high quality material, it's fast cutting, ergonomic and safe, it's easy to operate, and they offer a warranty, okay? So not only do they describe the problem, they also describe how their product uniquely solves that problem, okay? And that's exactly what you wanna do for your listing. Now, while you're creating these bullet points, also incorporate the keywords from your keyword list. Now, if we go down to the product description, they've added more information pertaining to the product itself. Now, if we take a look at the second best-selling count opener, you can see that they've done the same thing here. They picked the top five benefits of their product and listed them as their bullet points. And the product description for this one is far better a, it's organized into a readable format. It's not just one big paragraph, and they've described their product in more detail and how it's superior than their competitors. And similarly, you wanna use the keywords from your keyword list and use as many of them as possible in your bullet points and description here. Now, a common question a lot of beginners ask is, do I need to repeat keywords? Well, again, you wanna make sure that your bullet points, title, and description are easily readable by a person. So according to Amazon's algorithm, there's no need to repeat the keywords. You just need to say it once in the listing and it will recognize it. But that won't make any sense for you to try to describe your product if you only use one keyword one time in your listing. Use it as many times as you need in order to communicate what you need to say to 
a person visiting your listing. And this also holds true for singular versus plural. So you don't need to specify both. Amazon's algorithm is smart enough to know you use a singular version of a word that it'll index for the plural one as well and vice versa. So again, in your listing, you don't have to go and use both. Just make sure what you're trying to say makes sense and communicates what you're trying to, to say easily to a person visiting your listing. So now once you've completed the title, bullet points and description, you need to fill in the search terms for your backend keyword list. And that's found under the keywords tab. You can see here, there's a search terms field and you can only put up to 250 characters here. So what you wanna do now is go through your keyword list and all of the keywords that you used in your title, bullet points and description, remove them from this keyword list. And whatever's left, take the top 250 characters and copy and paste them into the search terms. So for example, if I used all of the keywords here, I can remove these from this list and then take the remaining keywords that are left up to 250 characters, copy them, and paste them into the search terms field here. And again, you don't need to duplicate keywords, so remove the duplicates from that list as well. Now, if you're looking for more detailed instruction on how to do this process, I'll leave a link in the video description to videos on this topic. Now, as you can see, using this process to build an optimized listing is rather tedious and time consuming and isn't very efficient, and it's difficult to keep track of which keywords that you've already used. Now, Jungle Scout has a tool called the Listing Builder that makes this process far easier and far more efficient. And Listing Builder is also included with the web app. So for example, it's really easy to use. All you need to do is create the keyword list from Keyword Scout or any other method, such as the free ones I showed you earlier. So if we go here and type in can opener, it's gonna generate the keyword list for me. And I can come here and check mark all of the keywords here and come here and go create a new keyword list and I'll call it a, the can opener list, okay? Now once I've done that, if I click on my lists over here, you'll notice that I have a list called can opener and all the keywords have been imported into this list. Now all I need to do here is go to listing builder, create a new listing, and I can choose the can opener list that I created, click next, and boom, it pulled up the can opener list of keywords and I can sort them by search volume here. And right away I can create my title, bullet points and description. And this is so powerful because as I use the keywords, it's gonna show me what keywords that are left that I haven't used, okay? You can see right here it says keyword used. So again, if I start typing manual can opener, stainless steel. You can see that as I'm typing them, those keywords are getting removed from this keyword list. See how powerful that is? Okay, so for example, let's just make this easy. We'll go over to the existing can opener on Amazon. And if I just copy that, and let's just paste this here as our title. And we'll get rid of these ones that we don't know. Okay, you can see that it's removed these keywords from the keyword list, all right? Now features is your bullet points. And again, the same thing as you type them out, it's gonna remove those keywords from this list. So if we come over here and we'll just use these ones as an example. Okay. All right, so now what we can do is we can resort this list. So if we come here and go sort unused, it's gonna show me all the keywords here that I haven't used yet. And if I scroll down to the bottom, it's gonna show me the keywords that I've already used, okay? So as you can see, this is such a powerful tool to help you create a keyword rich listing, all right? So if there's keywords in here that I haven't used and I can incorporate them into the listing, all right? So let's come over here and do the description. Okay, and you can see here, keywords use 2%. Now that doesn't mean you need to use all of the keywords here. You just want the main keywords to be indexed by the search algorithm, okay? So now moving on to the backend search terms, this list easily shows you the keywords that you haven't used. So go ahead and copy and paste the keywords that are remaining 
here, up to 250 characters, as you can see here. So for example, uh, electric can opener, that doesn't apply because if in this case, it's a manual can opener, so I'm not going to use that. OXO is a brand, I'm not going to do that either. Uh, it's not a commercial can opener, so I'm not going to use that. Um, if we come down here, it's not an automatic can opener. Um, smooth edge, perhaps, let's put that in here. And maybe it's a safety can opener here. Lid lifter. Tin opener. Soda can opener. Okay, and again, opener already used. And can already used in the title. So I can just put the word soda and so on, okay, until I reach 250 characters. Now, once you've done that, you can save it. And then what you can do is take each one of these and copy and paste it into your Amazon listing. So the vital info, I can just paste the title here, go to the description, copy the first bullet point and paste it here. Second bullet point and so on. And the description here and paste it here. Same with the keywords. and paste it here. So as you can see here, the listing builder tool makes this process that much more easy. All right, so that's it. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. If you're interested in trying out Keyword Scout or listing builder, I'll leave a link in the video description with a coupon for you so you can save some money should you decide to buy it. All right, thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And to make sure you never miss a video, be sure to click that bell icon to turn on notifications. There's also a link in the description to our community forums, which you should totally join. And if you're looking for more tips and strategy videos, click or tap over here. And as always, thanks for watching.